In chemistry, the term carbohydrates is used for what we normally call sugars. Sugars such as grape sugar, glucose, fruit sugar, fructose, and table sugar, sucrose, are made up of one or two molecules. Complex sugars, such as potato or cornstarch, form long chains made up of several hundred glucose molecules. Surprisingly, flour, made from starch and therefore glucose, is not at all sweet. In the first bowl is some potato starch. The second bowl is a control containing water. In the third bowl is some confectioner's sugar, also known as grape sugar, in other words, glucose. In the fourth bowl is some fruit sugar, or fructose. And in the fifth bowl is some table sugar, in other words, sucrose. Add a drop of tincture of iodine and a small amount of water to each bowl. Only the starch colours the tincture of iodine. Simple sugars and disaccharides have no effect. The tincture of iodine is therefore a useful tool for detecting the presence of starch in foods. Starch makes up around 20% of the dry matter in a green dessert banana, but just 1-2% to in the ripe fruit. At the same time, the amount of sugar increases from 1% in a green banana to 20% in a completely ripe one. In a green plantain, starch represents 80% of the dry weight of the pulp, and sugars about 1.3%. In a ripe fruit, the proportion of sugars rises to 17%. During the ripening process, enzymes act like scissors, transforming the starch in the fruit into sugars. Glucose, approximately 20%, fructose, 15%, sucrose 65%. There is a close correlation between the proportion of starch to sugar and the colour of the skin. The ripening process can be seen in the yellowing of the skin. Cooking bananas and dessert bananas also differ in terms of their water content. A cooking banana contains about 65% water and a dessert banana about 85%. The process by which starch is transformed into sugar is faster in fruits with a higher water content. Starch is transformed into sugar more quickly in the dessert banana than in the plantain.